Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new here, hello. I'm obviously guest by the title and the thumbnail, I'm going to be transforming myself into uh, the American actress Alison Timlin. I came across her existence for say, um, after my sister had pretty much launched herself through the roof uh, when she discovered that, um, if I forget, Lauren Kate, <laughs> I almost forgot the author's name, shame on me, but Lauren Kate, uh, a best-selling New York author, I think she is. Um, basically, written the uh, book series of Fallen, you know, between angels and dark angels, essentially. Of course, caught up in all the messes, young sixteen-year-old. She never really reaches, um, no, sorry, she never reaches eighteen. But I'm young, seventeen-year-old, losing the price. Anyway, so as until I got her role, or the role of um, Lucinda, that was kind of how um, I came into knowing her of her, her acting career slash existence. Not only also because I, you know, just Googled the fallen cast, you know, to see who's who in the zoo, and Alison Simmons was at the start of it, so I you know, clicked on her biography and uh, not only was it established that she's American, but also in Californication, Sasha Benningham, which I always try to watch. Um, Californication, but because of how adultery it is, my mum's loudest of all, but my parents never let me. But I did really like her movie that she, the few movies that she was in, like me, Little Sister, uh, the Town of Dread Sunday, the more updated version, like the lead on, but it's like a remake, but also a lead on from the old one. I'm also doing those hand gestures, but you know, they're out of frame. Of course, she was also in the recent um, submission, which I also really liked. So also, I apologise for the audio. I obviously have to be using my phone for the reference shots, so I can't really um, record myself using my phone to get the good audio. I'm stuck sounding like I'm on the radio. So currently, Addison, as far as I know, Addison is um, artificially blonde. So I will pull up some reference pictures, but if my sister's camera has the worst time focusing, then I'll just insert actual images onto the screen. Essentially, that is what she looks like. A lot of exposure so that you can see better. So this is what young Addison looks like. We actually are one year apart from each other. So we do already have similar features. We have very similar nose. Um, she has a lot more of an existing top lip. My top lip doesn't exist at all. Basically she has brows. But we do basically have the um, same more or less round face shape. Um, we both do naturally have brown eyes. And as you can tell by her roots, she's a natural brunette. Like I said, unofficially blonde. I did also I did also get this other image where she's not smiling and not wearing any lip product at all. You know, just for her upper lip shape because, I'm, like I said, she has a natural pout. Our bottom lip is about the same. It's just the few changes I need to make with myself is obviously I stuff on some brows and enhance my top lip. That's literally about it. I will be focusing mainly on the back since she has very natural makeup with like a little, little bit of a peachy, uh, smoky eye. And then comes my cat, always and forever, opening up the damn door. I'm just going to go quickly and switch my, um, switch, close my door so that my voice doesn't echo throughout the house. I mean, even though my parents are downstairs, where their room is still, I want to be respectful of the whole household. So, um, I don't, I don't quite have a, it in the reference photo, but when I was searching other images you know, for a more um, detailed idea aspect of her top lip, um, the actual reference picture uh, that was of another picture, um, she had this navy blue and white um, stripy top which is similar to this. I don't have the exact same top so this is literally as close as I can get to it. Cats. So, be right back with the door. I know I'm talking a lot. Okay, so I have already moisturised my skin and cleansed it. So now to obviously dive in with some makeup. First of all, let's actually sort out the hair because she has the most simplest hairstyle known to humankind. I'm going to first of all switch up my part line. I'm only choosing to do this look now um, because not only do we have the same haircuts. Uh, seriously Belle, jump up on my bed already. Why not? Um, she's got a little bit of coming through, like probably a little bit more than me, but still nonetheless. So she has got her hair part on the opposite sides of what I do. So I'm going to change that. And she has also got her um, hair quite laid up at the top. 
whether it's damaged as well or intentional short layers. Submission, we do have the same haircut as I said. And by submission, I obviously mean she was in the movie, not me. Okay, so now I'm going to um, pin the rest of my hair back. I first find some bobby pins. Be right back again. Okay, I found the first bobby pin. So I want to stop using my rubbers in jungle gym and top up on my damn bed. All this so is sick back, and I presume she just has it like pinned up, uh, probably pinned in. That's pretty much got all that hairspray, but I do not for hairspray in my hair for the life of me. Get out my hair is sorted out, so it's got some like, tendrils sticking out. Now to get on with the foundation, don't use primer. I never wear makeup long enough to wear primer, so I don't get if I'm new here. I don't use primer. I'm going to go in with my Maybelline um, foundation in classic ivory. Random blonde shards of hair on my beauty sponge. Awesome! So her makeup is very natural looking. Like I said, just, yeah, she just got um, a peach tone in her eyes. Probably a little bit of um, smoked out eyeliner by using either a pencil or shadow. And I'm also only choosing to do this, this look now while I'm still blonde um, because I plan on doing something pretty extravagant, really pretty extravagant with my hair. Still staying blonde because I love my blonde, I've worked hard for it and you know the maintenance and stuff like that. I plan on, <coughs> plan on doing something extravagant with this, um, which yes I will definitely record. Also with Addison's skin, I never know if she's like, tanned or naturally pale and my like, cat opened my door again. Blended. I'll sort this part of my hair out if I can possibly hunt down another bobby pin. If I can't find another bobby pin, it will be in 2019. Okay, I don't have any concealer, so I'm going to skip straight to powder anyway. I don't really need to use concealer. It's not like I have dark under eyes. The powder on my whole face, I'm going to be using my um, Active Beauty uh, face brush. The powder I'm using is Maybelline Stay Night. Okay, so now let's go in with brows. She has pretty uh, decently straight brows. Some was around about the size of mine naturally. If you can see my five o'clock show, even though it's two o'clock in the morning. She has got like, a little bit of straight at the front, you know, just obviously with that natural appearance. And not to mention her brows are natural. So I'll zoom you in. So I do want to aim to make this look as natural as possible. I use the pointy side just to add the um, straight bits. I'll take my time with it. But I'll obviously time up myself. Now I'm going to go in with the Key Tutorials palette. Take the shade Wanted, which is this one. Just to stamp it on top. I won't be mostly doing a stamping motion at the front. And that's for the rest. Just sweep it across just so I can darken my brows up because she has dark brows. Yes, my battery cut out, but luckily I have the other one on charge. But I have drawn the brows a little bit too close together. Just going to sort of wipe some of it away. And she does have the front of her brows quite rounded. Not necessarily like a Katie, I mean I love Katie Johnson, but not necessarily like a cartoonic you know, block of brow at the front of, of her, um, at, the side of, at the side of her brow. That's slightly better. Even though she probably doesn't definitely have a lip shade on, she probably has like a nude shade on, but I'm still going to go in with like my favourite lip shade. When I want a natural lip look, but I also want something that helps to exaggerate my lip um, size, I do go in with Candy Kate from Color Cosmetics. So Addison does have a cupid's bow, but straight on from where her cupid's bow, her lip just continues. 
one, however, just goes straight down and the rest is history. Now that I have her lip shape down, time to get on with the eye makeup now. Back to the original picture. So she has got a lot of peach tones for the main lid tone. We're going to take some of Chocolate Soleil. She hasn't got that many multiple different tones in her crease, so I'm just going to use this. I'm going to use this brush, uh, from Color Cosmetics. It's so basically got the Exo Beauty version of a blender brush. I work that into the crease, most of, mostly just on an added B. Just then the purple eye out. So I'm going to take the same shadow point as on my lower lash line. Okay, with my XA Beauty pencil brush, I'm going to take some of one to and make up and chill. And just trace my upper lash line. Okay, now I'm taking my last curls and going to curl my lashes. And now with my Holy Grail mascara, I'm going to take Lash Sensational. I'm just going to put like a tiny amount of the long lashes. And with the Exo Beauty um, Beauty Mix palette, I'm going to take some of Clarity to on my um, bell bone. A little bit on the inner corner. So now going in with my AC on tour palette, I'm gonna take this little shade here just for a very 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 light contouring. It has got actually chiseled features, so um, kind of like I do. Again, I'm not trying to compare myself to her, so that we're absolute twins. Um, but you know, we do have similar facial features. Take a little bit of this, wipe off, wipe, wipe off most of it on my hand, and. Contour out a little bit. I'm gonna take the contour quite far down because in some shots she looks um like a little bit of a horror, but I'm not referring to the horror movie. I think that was actually a low budget film, but it's still really good. I enjoyed it anyway. And it took me quite a while to notice that the blonde chick's um runaway friend is actually in the hundred. She plays um Fox. I think I was saying earlier that I can't tell sometimes if she's pale or if she has um, a bit of spray tan on. In some shots, I mean, of course, it's down to the um, editing and lighting, you know, in the content that she's in. But some photos, whether it's reference shots or professionally taken pictures, sometimes she looks a little bit tan, and other times she looks pale. Like in my reference pictures, anyway, she looks pale. -ish. I'm also going to take this under my jawline as well. I don't really got um, much of contouring under the jawline. She has this little bit of a defined jawline though. Okay, I'm also going to take a little bit on the sides of my nose. Okay, just a little bit of a lash. I'm going to go back into the Nikki Tutorials palette and take some of I Will Always Love You. Because she has a peach tone, but a um, pink tone. Okay, final detail, sleep. I'm just about to have it all down. The shades down and shape. Nose is contoured, blushed. The makeup is the same. Well, probably not the same price used, but you know what I mean. Brows are relatively the same. I mean, she had all this like hairspray back, but I am not hairspraying my hair. She also does have gold earrings, but I don't have gold earrings. Sure, her earrings are actually ice cream cones. <laughs> but I think I'm pretty much down packed. I like, still don't look, you know accurate like a copy and paste but you know, for the most part I reckon I have done pretty well. I mean, whether or not anyone else can see the resemblance or not. She has also got some freckles going on. I'm just going to try and mock them I guess. 
think I actually used to have a very light amount of freckles when I was a kid. So from what I learnt with Islamic makeup, every time you pat down some faux freckles, just pat them out with a finger and or put a consistent powder over top so it looks less like on top of skin and more under or you know, growing with the skin. I'm making mine kind of big. Yeah, definitely think that I'm done. Okay. So I guess the only difference is um, her lips are the own shade and or she has a complimentary lip uh, stick on it, like a nude shade, but for the most part... So as soon as I also get a um, more accurate tone of brown wig, I'll definitely do a resembling look of her, because um, she did once have brown hair much longer, especially in Autonomous, or oh, also the Awkward Moments. That was a funny movie. Um, the Awkward Moments, Autonomous, of course, Sasha Benningham with um, Color Fornication, even though that was a TV show. But yeah, this was uh, my somewhat transformation into Addison Timlin. Um, I hope I got it as accurate as I possibly could. I'm definitely not saying that I am copy and pasted version of her still. She's such a bit of a she has like a quite a few bead marks. Let me just quickly add those in. Always room for improvement when it comes to doing your makeup. Right, here's one. Three other faded ones next to it. One down here. Looks more like a product that's put on my face. Below the right eye. Okay, don't forget everything down right now, but her spots are just a touch darker. I'm gonna go over um, the spots with. Ah, it's more like it. Definitely get packed this time. Like I said, always go over and over and over your reference shots just to make sure. So, I scratched the um, previous references that I had of my awkward posing. I definitely think accurate now. My top lip is probably a little still a little bit more top lip than what mine is. Still. It's probably darkening the brows up a little bit more. But done. <laughs> okay, that officially concludes my Addison Timberland transformation. Whether or not I got it down packed or not, I still had a, a little bit of fun. Like, there was not much to it at all. Like, this video is still probably going to be long, but there wasn't that much to it at all. Just straighten out my brows upon drawing them on. Um, exaggerate my lip, to uh, lip tone. Exaggerate my lip shape to the top half. Yeah, everything else is on point, more or less. The only two difference between us is she's American and I'm English Australian. <laughs> Thank you all so much for the play. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I really do hope you enjoyed it and I shall see you all for my future videos.